Yo, what is up guys? Uh, it's Teron, and I figured I was going to record this tutorial right before I release my new set of mockups, um, just so I can show you guys, you know, the ins and outs of how to use these and why I structured them the way that I did. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So we have this, the front of this long sleeve mockup open right now, um, but I do include the front and the back of all the garments in my mockups. Um, so you know, if you have a front and back design, uh, you're all set. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this front uh, group and I'm going to go ahead and explain what all these groups and layers mean. Um, so you're going to see I have an added realism group, shadows group, um, two layers over here, and then a design group and a group called garment dye, which basically controls all the, or controls the color of, of your mock-up. Um, so yeah, this added realism group, I'm going to explain later, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I've, I've locked these three layers over here, these shadow layers, um, just because that's really the staples of this mock-up. And you're really not supposed to play with them just because they, they, they make the mock-up work like how it does. But if you go, if you want to unlock these and, and, and peek around, see how these were made, then by all means, go ahead. I've just locked these for ease of use, just so anybody doesn't turn them on and off um, or just play with them by accident. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and, and explore this garment dye layer, which is just a color fill layer. So if you double click um, the thumbnail over here, it'll bring up this color panel, which you can then change to whatever color you want. So right now it's black, um, and when you download this, it's going to be black as well. But if you want to change the color, you could do all that within this um, little panel right here. So I wanted to change it to white, or it's red, or literally any color on the spectrum, you have that option. So I'm gonna go and change it to a nice melt orange kind of whatever this is. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put your designs in here and make it look good. So I have this neat little uh, separation of groups here uh, for different placements. So uh, for a front design and for sleeve designs, just so that there's no um, overlapping of any designs if let's say the front or the sleeves are overprinted in, in some kind of way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drop these designs in here. Okay, so I have these long sleeve design files which I've outsourced um, from Tim9min, who is an absolute beast of a designer. Please go check him out, he's one of my biggest inspirations. Um, I'll put his name up on the screen, but you can also check the description for his Instagram. Um, definitely a cool dude. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag these in here. Um, so for the front design, um, you can already see when it's in the group, um, the sleeves are masked out just so there's no overlap, like I said. Uh, so I'm going to scale this down to size just to show you guys. Oops. Um, looks good to me. And I'm going to do the same things with the sleeve design. So I'm just drag and drop them in here. Um, Okay, so I've dragged and dropped all the sleeve designs in here in the front design, um, and I think it's looking pretty good. And I just want to emphasize that um, if you ever want to change the color, you have that option. Literally whatever color um, you want on the RGB spectrum. So I'm going to just keep it at, at orange. Um, and I want to explain um, what all these uh, groups mean, but I'm going to do so on this mockup right here, the Vintage T, um, just so I can show two mock-ups in one video, um, kill two birds, one stone, uh, but yeah, so same format, same everything. I already have my design in here, which is coincidentally one of the designs that I'm dropping in January for my clothing brand, so if you want to check that out, by all means go ahead, it's on my website, um, but otherwise I'm just going to show you guys um, what all this means. So uh, the added realism group is self-explanatory, it's just um, a few filters that I add some realism to the mock-up. So there's a color fade layer, which you'll see um, in a second, I'll turn it off right now. There's a discoloration layer, which works on basically the black. Um, if you turn this, um, the garment to black or white, it'll, it'll, it'll work on that. Um, and then the color fade is more meant for vibrant colors. But yeah, the discoloration, you could see it um, probably just a little bit. I don't know how good the quality will be in this YouTube video, but um, yeah, it basically just, it just discolors some, some small pl uh, places in this mock-up. So it looks like it was, you know, faded or, or vintage C that you picked up. 
Um, but yeah, so there's also a texturizer group, which if you turn off, it kind of removes this vintage and mineral wash look that is on this mock-up. So I like to keep it on, but if you want, uh, you can turn this off and it's definitely a, a smoother look. But yeah, I like to keep that on. Um, and now to show you guys the color fade, I'm going to turn that on and uh, bring the color of this garment to something pretty vibrant, like red or what's the color that it's really apparent on? Probably, probably red. Fuck it. Um, so yeah, if I zoom in on this, you can see that in some of these areas, there's a slight fade of color or discoloration. And you can really tell when I turn off this layer. So it's really in these uh, these areas. And again, YouTube might mess up the call the quality, but um, if you have this mock-up, you can turn this on and off um, and see for yourself. Um, and then there's also this grunge layer, which basically just controls the fade of the mock-up. So right now, um, it's pretty dark. If I turn this off, it's gonna go lighter. Um, just makes it pretty faded. Um, but yeah. I'm going to turn this back to black and I'll show you guys what the hell this vintage diffuse thing is all about. Um, it's really functionally useless, <laughs> um, but I think it's very aesthetically pleasing and I wanted to add it in this mock-up just because I'm all about presentation um, and making things look nice. So if you want to, you can go ahead and turn this on. Basically what it does is it gives a nice kind of like vintage uh, VHS glow to your mock-up. Um, you can play with the opacity, um, turn it all the way up if you want, just for that really nice, uh, or I, I think it's really nice, this glow effect. And you can do it on both the front and back. So if I turn these off and turn the back on, you could see same effect. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to show in this mock-up. I wanted to make this a quick tutorial. Um, <laughs> I hope this didn't take too long. I don't know, I haven't checked the time, but uh, I just recently hit 2k so I wanted to thank you guys for that. Um, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, and yeah, just one big thank you. Um, happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.